I'm Rene Carriol. I'm a businessman with a track record of turning around international companies and mentoring some of the world's most famous leaders. I've helped them find financial success. I'm now going to show you how to get the life you really want. 85% of people in Britain say that paying off their mortgage is the one thing that stands between them and freedom. Your mortgage hangs around your neck like a lead weight, tying you to the daily grind for 25 years. But I can show you how you could pay off your mortgage in just two years. The way the funds are going at the moment, this is all going to end in tears. In order for this to work, I'm going to push you like hell. It's going to be tough, and it's only going to get tougher. We need to take some radical action. This is not the best example of teamwork that I've seen. Three days arguing doesn't help you to pay off your mortgage. Actually. Arguing we haven't shouldn't argued. be speaking. We spoken. Both of you can be a fantastic team, and it's two of you. You can't do it on your own. And both of you need to listen just a little more. What have I got to listen to him about? Sometimes listen to yourself, because you have the answers as well. Come here. When these guys get arrested and they get a confiscation order, that's failure. They're never going to pay that. He sees himself as a legitimate business person who's smarter than the average bloke. And his compulsion and his greed and his desire to be the absolute best means that he's never going to stop. And if you looked at recent evidence, they may be right. They don't boast. There's no dead bodies to be seen. There's no big hard men. It's not the governor. This is completely different. So whenever they are uncovered to be criminals, everybody's in a state of honest shock. Really? Did they really do that? This ain't the Cray twins. This isn't sort of your big hard-nosed geezer. This is your decent, honourable chap. Everyone says that you're really bright. Well, it doesn't seem too bright to me. You're not prepared to work. Over the next three weeks, I'm going to identify three different jobs for you. And each one of them is going to be very different and show me a different facet about you. Sometimes just the fact that you can get out of this house, get in on time, and impress those people you're working with. There's some basic stuff that he didn't get right, all about first impressions, taking the initiative, eye contact. He just didn't, didn't get them right, and I was really surprised because they're so basic. I have been in the past a, a lazy bugger, so it, it, you know maybe I just can't see it, maybe I'm blind to it. There I see what I'm fun. picking up from you. Yeah. You don't like that, lady. Only because it's not true. If there's a task that you really don't relish, never leave that to last, it probably won't get done. And I think I always like to finish on the stuff that I know I can do well. I'll take the hardest nut first. The Metropolitan Police are the largest police force in the UK. All told, including civilians and police officers, they employ over 40,000 people, which makes them larger than the Royal Navy. However, when we look at their reputation, their track record, it's quite appalling. They seem to be failing just on every measure we can find. I'd like to find out about this organisation. I'd like to find out what makes it tick. I'd really like to understand, can it improve, can it win? For business guru Rennie Carriol, it's been his first visit to Edstone Hall. Have you ever done four out of five before? Oh, we usually do five out of five, oh, so we're slightly... Go, here we go. But we've got four out of five. Another four. person... Re Are you an entrepreneur? Yeah, four out of five. Redefining your rules as well. I would... Uh, close. Close. <laughs> close. Before coming here, I would have thought that, is there such thing as an entrepreneurial character that we can mine, we can, we can scientifically, forensically sort of prove? And I would have thought, no. It's got to be about judgment as well. It's completely shifted me. Completely shifted me. This can be measured, it can be mapped. I nearly felt I was touching it towards the end of the day. I'm going to take five points really quickly. What do we do? Experts, please. Don't all rush at once, but let's come <laughs> along. So what do you think they should do? I, I, th I think they're in a really difficult position. What hold that, hold that, hold that. Gary, give me a view. Come back on that, Jim. Bill, you said something about working for bad bosses. Can I come a microphone there, please? Where do you get your fulfilment from? I'm not talking about me personally. I, I was just going but on. I'm to... talking about you. Oh. Where do you get your fulfilment from? If you're just following orders, where do you get your fulfilment no, from? No, no, no. I'm not saying I'm following orders. I'm it's a price worth paying. 
Yes, yes, this is a price we'll pay. There's only room for one leader. It's so is your argument, let's stick to management. Let's stick to process, procedure, protocol. No. Do you have mavericks? Well, Good thing or bad things. thing? When the leader has put the processes in place, when the leader has put the people in place, the leader knows every nook and cranny of the organisation. But perhaps part of the price you pay for growth and success is change. Kevin, give me a closing comment. Rule number one, surround yourself with like-minded people. Who are you hanging around? People that give you positive energy and encourage you, or people that sap and drain energy and have nothing good to say and certainly don't believe in you. Some of our friends encourage us, grow us, help us. Some of them will forever hold us back. Think about who are your friends. Think about those who energize you. You know, I always have this test. When my friends walk into the room, do the lights dim or do they get a bit brighter? <laughs> Some of my friends come in, I'm in pitch blackness. <laughs> Let's take another question.